All right, so we've got our, our smart service tool kit kind of hooked up. I went, went ahead and hooked up half of it already for you. I've got the low side hooked up, but I wanted to show you how um, the other hook up. So there's a little button on the side of your, your pressure reader and then your, your temperature clamp as well. So you want to push that button and then you'll see a little green light. When that green light comes on, that, that lets you know that it's ready to sync up um, to the app on your smartphone. So I'm gonna hook both of these up and then take a look at them. You wanna make sure that your connections are snug because it will, you will hear it hissing and leaking or so. So we may have to tighten it up. I don't know if I got it on tight enough, but once you're on, you can see that little green light there kind of flashing on it. Let you know you're ready to pair up. You do the same thing, temperature. Once you do that, you're all ready to go. Take that and then we'll go to the phone, check out our app. So I've got the app downloaded on the phone there. So we hit the app, it opens everything up and you'll see that it's, it's already hooked up and connected. One of the cool things is, uh, so that pressure sensor right there is not synced up yet. So if you hit that, uh, one's not found yet. So let me see if I can get that one to hook up for us. And it might be as much as just adjusting that button until it pops up. There, my pressure sensor popped up, so I can go ahead and touch that and get that reading now. Now, I'll need to go back and tighten up my low side because I can see it, you can actually see it dripping. That's because you got to make sure you get that connection, you know, really tight right there. And also, uh, your same thing on your temperature clamps. Make sure that they're they're good and snug and in a good spot. The other cool thing about this is it gives you a battery life for each one of your sensors. So those batteries that we put in earlier, it tells you the strength of those. Now, there's a couple different things I can do. I've got it set for 410 here, but if you hit that 410 button, it'll get and hit refrigerants, or edit rather, It'll give you a list and the color codes of over 60 different refrigerants that you can choose from. So we'll go back and make sure you got the right refrigerant there. The other thing that you can do is if you want it to read out and your display be uh, like an analog, you can just hit the little analog reader there and it shows your, your pressure readings like your analog gauges. What I learned on analog gauges, so some people are a little bit more comfortable here. Um, so you can do that. It'll also um, give you kind of a bar graph reading as well if you wanted to send let's say a report or so now after you do all of that um, you can go back and let's match everything back up now we've got our pressures and everything reading the same it also has calculated our superheat and our subcooling for us we can record this session by hitting that little red button and it'll and you hit record and then once you do that it'll ask you to name it it could be the customer's name, it can be uh, the job or the work order name, whatever it is. So we'll name it, we'll name it TT for Toolbox Tuesday, All right? So that's gonna be TT, we hit okay, and then a report is generated from there. So I can go back to my settings. It'll, it'll cover that, ref or that system, it'll monitor that system over time. You can see different time bars on that, on that graph and it'll give me a graph of what's going on with my entire system. I think that's really cool. So now, you hit record, so you're done. That's my TT setting there and record. Now, at this point, that little small window of time that we recorded that information, I can populate that in the email and it's all ready to go to send back to the office, to the service manager, send a copy to the customer or wherever I need that report. And all of that information that we collected is now populated, ready to go. It gives me the job name, it gives me the type of refrigerant, it gives me the time that I started and the time that I ended. Just a really, really cool tool, um, very easy to carry. That's all we have. Make sure, I'll go back and I'll tighten that up, but make sure you get it nice and tight. But I did want you to see that you gotta have a good snug connection on there to make sure it works right. But I just think this is a really cool tool. Um, it's something that you might wanna have in your tool bag. Easy to carry, easy to store the uh, Sproland Smart, Smart Service Kit. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday, and we'll see you next time.